What's going on, people? You know, I'm all about saving some money, and I was looking up the um, doing the deep culture, deep deep water culture hydroponic system, and my real concern is um, checking the water level. Cause last year when I was doing it, you know, I had to lift that thing up and check the water level, which was not a real big problem until the plants started getting really, really big. And so I saw this video online about how to um, make a, um, a water level indicator. And I went online searching for them. I was like, well, you know what? I can probably buy one. Well, those things were like 40 bucks to buy the, the bucket and all that kind of stuff. So I went and bought me the supplies on how to make one. And I got the five gallon buckets. And I ended up spending for six of them $8 a piece. And they were like 40 bucks for one on Amazon. And you know, Amazon's supposed to be cheap, so I'm gonna kind of show you guys how how to um, make one in case you want to do one. People in the hydroponics world probably already know this, but this is kind of new to me. So some other people might be interested in seeing how easy this stuff is. Okay, these are the things you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need your five gallon buckets there. You're going to need you some um, half an inch hose tube, uh, general hydroponics. This is uh, blue color. It's supposed to filter out some of the light coming through. You're going to need you some elbow fittings here. Um, bought those from a place in Pennsylvania. You're going to need some clamps, some hose clamps here to hold the tubing onto the bucket. And you're going to need some um, a drain, uh, half inch drain. Um, that goes in the bottom of the bucket. You're going to need to have some uh, drill bits to drill your quarter inch hole for your um, oxygen to go in for your um, for the air supply and then of course you're going to have to have a uh, tool to cut your hole into the bucket. Alright, we're going to take our little hole maker here, forget what it's called. We'll make a hole in here, just kind of start it off slow. See how easy that is. And then we'll take a little burring tool and burr the edges here because you'll have some you have some little stringy plastic here. Burr it. Nice and smooth. And you know your water level is never going to get down this low right here. So, I mean, you could have, you could put it up here if you wanted to, but you know your water level is never going to get down this low. So, and I've already made the other five. I'm just showing you here on this one. All right. The next thing we want to do is take our little drain tube, and it, it's pretty neat. It comes with a. Um, a little screw on cap here, it comes with some washers, and you want one washer on the inside. Take this off here. So that's that this washer here. That one on the inside. And you want this one on the outside. And you just want to hand tighten this. And it'll make, it'll actually make this flat on the bucket side. So just hand tighten it. You don't want to over tighten it because it'll make the rubber protrude through and then it'll leak. Okay, see that? That's pretty cool. Then we want to take our our blue pipe here, and we want to have it be. You want, want it to come about to right here. Of course, it's never going to get that high, but you want to take a little piece here, and we're going to measure that. And cut off about this much here.
can't open it, you use your teeth. Take your elbow here. Put one in here. Fits there. And then we'll take our tube and measure it from here. Right here is where you want it. So we're going to cut that off. About right here. I've got a smaller one of these little pipe cutters, but I don't know where it is. Then we'll take our little grommets here and we will make a hole. See how that's shaped right there? The tube will fit in there and make a little hole so that way it's not just kind of leaning on the side. Make a quarter of an inch, and this thing has a little lip on it right here. So you're gonna take about a quarter of an inch. You just don't want to go all the way through. About like that. Take out a little grommet here. Put it in there like that, and voila! There you go. You got you a. Uh, a water level indicator on your on your hydroponics deep water culture we're going to have another little hole up here for our air supply to go into and then we'll put our net pots we'll drop down right here and that's the way you do it guys pretty easy huh and it's cheaper yeah you have to put a little bit of work in it to do it but still pretty simple thanks for watching there we go people did all six of them in probably less than an hour. If I hadn't been making videos, it probably would have taken me only about 30 minutes. Um, but yeah, easy as heck. And I saved, how much did I save? I saved probably, let's see, 40 times six, 240. I saved 230 bucks. <laughs> all right, catch you guys later.